programs that they have and do, from a student's perspective, do a lot of female students or you know, male students use the, uh, the eating disorder services? Just from personal experience with um, friends and what I've seen throughout the campus, I think that um, eating disorder, eating in general and restricting intake is a big issue that our campus is facing. I think that there are services available, like the personal, personal counseling center, for students to reach out to if need be, if they're feeling like they're making unhealthy food choices and um, not fueling their bodies properly. I also think that there is clubs and organizations such as Simply Healthy and the Health and Wellness Committee that's um, spearheaded by Mary um, that do a lot to promote healthy um, eating, um, exercise, taking time for yourself, de-stressing. So I think that the initiatives are available, but I don't think that the problem is really recognized as being as big as a problem as I, I think and through the research it really is. I think much more can be done to make it known that this is a real issue and that food can be a <laughs> it's necessary in our lives that we need it to fuel our everyday life, our work, our relationships. Um, Kathy, one of our graduates, uh, Katie Hickey, did her thesis on uh, an investigation of a correlation between the amount of money spent on uh, grooming products. Mm -hmm and body image and found a negative correlation as well. The more spent on products, the lower the body image. And I find uh, a, a similarity between what you found and what Katie Hickey found. And since some of our students even here will have to be considering their own theses uh, subjects with relative um, speed as September will be here sooner than we might anticipate, that since these theses are stored in the digital commons, it would be kind of a, a really cool idea to kind of build on the work of your former classmates. And this, I think, is the second in an area of body image or um, self-esteem or mm -hmm. and so I I think it's terrific and thank you. Yeah. Oh, um, so if, if like you're making healthier food choices and but your body image goes down, how do you think um, you can show people that it's just important to be healthy rather than like that overall should override like simply healthy or those clubs are promoting health, but how can you make it so that their body is well? Um, I did find in the literature that there is a um, connotation of health as being maintaining a appearance, and there's sort of a disconnect between knowing that health is something that happens internally and then creating outward instead of health being a vehicle for physical appearance which starts outward um, and then goes inward in terms of your physical uh, in terms of your sentiments towards yourself. So I think that the whole relationship with food on this campus needs to be completely redefined in which food is first and foremost a vehicle of keeping your body healthy, keeping your mind able to do schoolwork, etc. And then and only then can food be a um, possible vehicle of achieving your own perfect body image for yourself. Not necessarily society's body image, but that the one that fits for you. So I think the whole relationship and connotation of what healthy eating is needs to be redefined to focus on nutrition, nourishment of the body, nourishment of the mind, and fueling your body properly for your daily activities.